Hi there. How y'all doing? Can I convince you Class is about to start. Uh, we just did Halloween. I woke up, I changed clothes, I saved, and I'm ready for class now. Man, looks like Christy was... <laughs> I called her name, she turned around and shot a knee out. I guess she's pretty used to getting harassed, huh? Uh, Christy, you really don't have to beat any of the chapters before she likes you too, so you got her, you got Angie, right away. Once you beat the first art class, they'll make out with you. Yeah, I'll tell you what, you come meet me later by the boys' dorm and we can do that all the time. Right, uh, what do we got, art class 2, right? Okay, uh, art class 2 is a little bit harder than art 1, not a whole lot. Sip the brew first. I think this time we have three enemies instead of two. And we don't want them to hit the line. We don't want them to hit us, and we don't want them to, to hit the line that we're using while they kill us. If you can manage to trap them in boxes... Well, that was close. If you can manage to trap them inside a box that we're making, we actually get rid of them too. Which is really useful later. Oh, see, that was my fault. Talking, not paying attention. Not that that's a biggie. But we should have it right here. Yep, nothing to it. They do get uh, Art 4 and Art 5. You really gotta pay attention close. There's a lot of enemies, a lot more enemies. And again, the way I like to do it is try to trap them all in boxes immediately. And get rid of them. Now we got a 50% health bonus. Which is really useful. And before the next class, I'm gonna try to squeeze in another mission. And I know these missions, uh, at least the, the ones that are in the PS2 version, I know these missions really well, so I should be able to get this in before the next class starts. Alright, the next one is... Ah, character sheets, yeah. Yeah, I don't really like this one that much. Bunch of thieving jerks! What's up, Melvin? What's up, Melvin? Ah, greetings. Mm. Jimmy, listen! Some ruffians took it upon themselves to steal my grottos and gremlins character sheets and won't return them. Damn We're ruffians. Tonight. The whole situation is untenable. Grottos and gremlins? Boy, you are sad. Sad? I'm distraught! Yeah, I don't think that's what he meant, brother. Role-playing is point of human achievement. <laughs> is it In now? Fact, upon reflection, I am prepared to offer a bag of groats to the fair knight really? uh, who I'm not like hungry, man. recovers these precious screens. Do you accept the quest? I'm not really that hungry, brother. Ten groats. Nah, you can what? keep that. I mean ten bucks. Wait here. Oh, ten bucks? Yeah, and I'll do it. have your pick of my wenches. Great. <laughs> can I? Yeah, I bet you've got quite an impressive harem. <laughs> I'll just take the money. Okay, first one is right over to the left here. This right here. Oh, no, South Park. They call it Rochambeau. Yeah, Rochambeau, you play. First I kick you in the nuts, then you kick me in the nuts. The first one to give up loses. Alright, I give up, you win. <laughs> That's awesome. But anyway, we got the first sheet. Alright, the reason why I don't like this mission is because of that guy, hold on, that guy right there. Yeah, that guy keeps running around the school and when you hit him, you see our, the trouble meter, the prefix will start. You know what, screw that guy, I'm not even going to chase him, I'm going to try something different here. I'm going to go over and get this one first, let that guy just keep running around. And this one isn't too bad, it's only one guy. <laughs> the fucking run off. Get that over and slay him. Come on, Carpack. I didn't knock my upper cut. I'll tell you what, he's not going down without a fight. And there's our second one. So now we're gonna go find this guy who was running again, dude. But well, usually he'll run up here and he'll stop. 
Oh no, I guess since we went to get the other one, he kept going. Usually he'll stop right there and wait for you. And yeah, I see him over there. No, not him. Not him. I want to start shooting him before he runs off. Then you can see the trouble meter starts, and as you're running around in circles, then prefects start chasing you. Yeah, I tell you what, I'm gonna go get the other one over here too. Screw that guy. That guy's irritating. You'd be running around in circles, then the prefects jump at you, and you gotta run from them and hide in garbage cans, and it's just that guy sucks. Alright, so this is the guy that's got the sheet. Just get that guy out of the way. <laughs> go get it, Bucky. Just over here swinging yard sticks at people. Awesome. There's the sheep. Oh! You know what? I was gonna let you go. He comes over and kicks me in the nuts. Now I gotta put him down. <laughs> Bucky's still jabbing his yardstick. Alright. And actually, the next class has started. It'll be gym class, but... I think that's the only guy left. All we gotta do is get that one irritating guy. Eunice over there again. She's always happy to see us. As I am her. I don't have to catch you from over here. I gotta slink. Actually, that was really easy. I should have been doing that the entire time. That was real easy. Instead of chasing this guy around in circles, around the school a bunch of times, hiding in garbage cans. That was really easy. Just give me the money, Melvin. Yeah, seriously, just fork it over, Melvin. You have earned it, and don't forget about the wenches. Brilliant! Oh yeah, I did forget about the wenches. So, uh, where are they? I don't see no wenches, Melvin. Count on Jimmy. I see a huge dork, I don't see any wenches. See, Melvin's a liar. There's Eunice in the same spot. What's up, baby girl? I'm gonna go over to. <laughs> I missed the jump and got a guy chasing me. All right, gym class. You can get to gym class in either one of these buildings. The icon's on the other one, but you can get to it from over here. Next, uh, next gym class is dodgeball. It's not a wrestling class again. It uh, dodgeball can be difficult at first until you get used to the controls. But, right, uh, you once you got maggots, it. We'll be playing dodgeball for All the right, you while. feckless maggots. Ah, dodgeball. Now exactly does that mean? Feckless. See, so I know what a maggot is. Much like real life, the strongest I guess that means we there. don't have any fat, right? You right? Bums, look alive! Good! All right, well, <laughs> for anybody that watched my previous walkthrough to this, it will come as no surprise to you. I googled the word feckless. Not only so I could tell you what it was, just because I want to know. As it turns out, in most forms of the English language, the word feck does not exist. Only its negative counterpart, feckless. It's a Scottish word. It's short for it's short for effect. So feckless essentially means ineffective. So dodgeball, once you get the hang of it, really isn't that tough. It is at first just to get the controls down. So pretty much feckless is used to describe people who are irresponsible, or incompetent, or inept. You know, people with no fear of consequences. You know, we've all known those kind of people, just people that act without thinking. So there you go, there's a little trivia for you that's never going to make you any money. Some useless information. Oh, didn't get the ball, didn't get the ball. Ah, gotcha, see? We're gonna be seeing dodgeball again. Not really that hard once you got the controls. Gonna sip the brew. I'm the best. <clears throat> and an accuracy upgrade. Job well done. Uh, remember when we did the candidate? I was saying the uh, the aiming mechanism isn't so hot. You get you unlock better aiming accuracy as the dodgeball classes go by. And stink bombs didn't really need them, but right outside here, there's a thing called penalty shots. I want to show you this. I'm gonna rip out your heart and Ooh, he was gonna rip out my heart and make me bleed. This is a quick way to make money. 
when you want to buy up all the clothes and everything. You can bet up to twenty dollars here, and there's my man Constantinos again. You want to kick the soccer ball at him? All right. What I try to do, and it's not always easy. I want to hit him in the face. Yeah, there you go. One shot to the face, he goes down. And 20 bucks. It's not always easy to do because he moves around a lot. If you hit him in the butt, that takes a considerable amount of health, but like, usually if you hit him, like in the upper torso, he's got his arms blocking it, doesn't do a lot of damage. If you hit him in the legs, it doesn't do a lot of damage. Try to hit him in the face, because you've only got five chances. Or you lose your 20 bucks. And yeah, see that was too far to the left. But, a shot to the butt takes away close to half of his health. And see, so that didn't do a lot. He was holding his arms up. And there you go. Square in the face, and he's down. Just wanted to show you that. It's a fast way to make money. That didn't take very long, and we just got 40 bucks. And I want to get away from those guys. The, uh, whoa, hello. Help Gary. This mission right here is the end of chapter one. Greetings, what is this? The uh, come on, get control of the skateboard. What is this like? The seventh video that I'm doing, and chapter one's already over. So it doesn't take very long, and we didn't miss any classes on the way here too, so that's all good. I'm gonna sip the brew. Gary's all tweaking. There you are. Come on, I found something incredible. Hold on, relax, man. I can't keep getting Seriously, in trouble. Chill out. I can't get expelled again. It's always about me with you. Me, me, me. Yeah. I'm of course, you don't have that problem, do you? And you're worrying about getting into trouble? You know what? You really are something. What bigger yeah, picture? I'm something. I'm. Uh, we are. Gonna take over this school. We are not <laughs> taking shit over about anything the school. What's right with your now? obsession with being the leader of this horrible tide. place? Wait for no man, my friend. But it seems they do wait for a wannabe tough guy who's nothing but a little girl. You're full of it. So you keep telling me. the president Look, of Beirut. Now come on, I promise you. After this, things are never gonna be the same again. Oh, I'm so excited. I should have stopped taking those pills ages ago. Yeah, <laughs> you right. Think? Whatever you say, Gary. All right, so this is a boss battle. And once again, to follow Gary, I'm going to equip my firecrackers. It says follow Gary, but we're going to the same place he took us before, the parking lot of the high school. Oh, and actually, this is a boss battle, and I got a 50% health bonus in the last art class. I'm going to want some more health for this. I got this for you. It would make me feel less insecure. I can't believe it. I haven't received a gift like this ever. Yes, you have. I've been thinking You're about incredible. human Come sexuality. Here. What a coincidence. Me too. Yeah, bring those cold sores over here. Yeah, that's all good. Yeah, Gary needs my help, but this seems more important at the time. Well, I would hope so. We've done that, like, twice before. Okay, so, we'll go, we'll go over to the parking lot. First of all, we got to take down these guys. Firecrackers. And <laughs> do it in one shot. And, I guess firecrackers make that a lot easier. So, we're supposed to follow him into the basement. This is a little different from how I remember it. You better leave the way. And there's switches on the wall. Every room we go into, we gotta hit a switch to open the door to get into the next room. That one's right out in the open. The next one is locked in this cage. So, nothing hard about that. Come on, get out of here. And over into the next room. Can't need the slingshot for this How one. It's locked in, in a cage too, but we can't get in the cage. You're really gonna like this, Jimmy. Really? Not liking it so far, Gary. Now here's another switch I used to. Whoa! Okay. Five wires. 
So there's a switch over by Gary. We have to climb under this. Gary hits the switch to turn the electricity off, and then we run in and hit the switch to open the door. Almost there. Ah, camera. Hey, the camera's a lot screwier in the Xbox version. Hope that doesn't become an issue later. And in here, the pumpkins. In the last video, I said I wasn't going to show you where the pumpkins are. That would have been a waste of time, because they're all right here. And there's 27 of them. We'd have been running around forever in that video looking for pumpkins. And they're all right here in the same place. But again, the tombstones, on the other hand, you can't get all of those until chapter 5 if you don't get them there, so. And there you go. We unlocked a pumpkin head. Okay, right over here. Straight down. There's the next transistor we need for the hobo. That's our next fight move. And we have to cool down the furnace. That ain't pretty good here. Alright, turns the steam off. Now, I don't know who designed this building. But there's a bunch of steam shooting out of the ceiling that prevents you from going down here. I'm not sure what's up with that. But here we go. And I'm gonna sip the brew. So, Jimmy boy, here we are. The hole. The place where this school separates the men from the boys. This is like Fight Club and Toxic Waste. Okay, so what's that got to do with standing up to people? Keeping them in line. This is where I stand up to you, my friend. What are you talking about? I know you hate me, Jimmy boy. I know you said all that stuff about me behind my back. The cool thing about this about? is that once this mission is done, you we're not going to have to see school. Gary very much anymore. I want to run this school. Only one of us is going to make it. And it's going to be me! Yeah, get out of here, you fucking politician. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and morons, There's I faction leaders, there's Ernest. Russell. There's Ted over there. This is Go our boss battle. Old jerk who said that nasty stuff to me about your mom and those barnyard uh, animals. What? <laughs> Come here. <laughs> Russell wants vengeance. All right, little trick to Russell. Okay, when he starts doing this, run. He got me. I didn't get away far enough. When he starts doing that ground pounding thing, he's about to charge at you. I try to, I try to stay in close, and that's gonna happen. You can hit him when he's celebrating. Try to stay in close. And sometimes you'll get lucky and he'll just stand there and let you wail on him. But once he starts doing that ground pound thing, move. Run around in circles. Not doing too bad here. He's giving us a break. Uh-oh. Okay, he's not... Alright, not too bad. Alright, dude, they're gonna let me have it. This boss fight can be a lot more difficult than this. This isn't anything. Uh oh, uh oh. Okay, here we go, here we go. Oh, <laughs> he caught me. I ran right into him like an idiot. And he power bombs me. Ugh. Now he's only got a little bit left. And he's oh, locked. Alright, dude, that was not that tough. I've had a lot worse times with that fight. Ecstatic. I love to watch two morons beat the crap out of each other. Why'd you do it, Gary? I thought we were friends. And that's the end of chapter one. I'm also going to end this video friends. right here when this is over. You and me. I've taken dumps that had more brains than you, friend. Ah, good no. stuff. I'm taking over this school, and you're just a liability. See you around, moron. Yeah, I well will done, be seeing Jimmy. you again. Yeah. Thanks, Pete. Great. What a it's good to have time. friends. You all right, Russell? Oh. Oh. Yeah? Look, I never said anything about your mom or farmyard animals. You did? <laughs> no, but I want you to really? stop bullying you weak kids. You did. Why? Ah, because there are a bunch of kids around this place who need a beating, and you're picking on the few who don't. All right, y'all. So I want you to leave me and him alone. I'm going to start the next video with Chapter 2. Sorry. I will see you guys yeah, next time. Thanks Russell. a lot.